talking about pretending, but that's power, real power. Great is he that's in you uh, than he that's in the world. Uh, that's power. Jesus is greater. That's power. He has all power in heaven uh, and in earth. Uh, that's power. If there's another God, uh, he has no power. Thank God for Jesus. The Jesus that we serve uh, is all power. His name is power. His word is power. His spirit is power. His church is power. His people are power. He's all power. 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 Somebody say power. Power Lord. Power. Do you have the power tonight? If you got the power tonight, wave your hand and shout power. Shout power. Shout power. Now since you got the power, use the power. Stop complaining. Stop mumbling. Stop grumbling. Stop talking about what the devil did and get on your feet and shake that devil off and make them take it back. The Lord said, pray for them that despise you. Pray for them that persecute you. How you gonna pray for them? Just shake them off and bless them in Jesus' name. Tell the devil, you meant it for evil, but God taking it for good. Tell the devil, you trying to stop me, but God made a stepping stone. I'm going higher. I'm going higher. Anybody want to go higher? I'm going higher. Somebody say yes, Lord. Somebody say thank you, Lord. Clap your hand and give us some praise. When somebody said, Bishop Austin, it's easy to talk about shaking stuff off. But we can't shake off something. Well, let me go back to the scripture. All things are possible to them that believe. When you come down to Jesus, there's nothing that's impossible. Why would a snake bite a person? The psychology of a snake bite is not to do damage in the bite. The snake only penetrate with small hole. To look at the bite, there's nothing to see. But the snake psychology is to project in those tiny wounds some dangerous stuff. And, and when you put in those holes, it's not always visible, but sometimes in a few seconds, a few minutes, you can feel the impact of the bite. Mm -hmm. Some bite attack your nervous system. Mm -hmm. Some bite attack your blood system. Mm -hmm. Some your respiratory system. But he has some way of cutting you down. Yeah, yeah. But when it comes to Jesus, it doesn't matter what the bite is. It doesn't matter what kind of snake it was. It could be a sanctified snake. It could be a family snake. It could be a pulpit snake. It could be a deacon mower snake. Whatever kind of snake it is, all you got to do is do like Paul did. He didn't have a whole lot to say. He just shook it off and made the devil take it back. In other words, he gave the word to the devil. He said, devil, you bit me, but I'm going to fight back. But not with an eye for an eye and a ray for a ray, but in the name of Jesus, I'm going to shake it off and make the devil take it back. I look for the day when the church can rise up and start shaking off some stuff. We will stop leaving the church. We will stop getting mad in the church. We will stop losing the faith. We will stop quitting the council. We will stop protesting and begin to rejoice. I say rejoice. I don't care what's going on. Read Rejoice. I don't care how it feels to you. Rejoice. I'm saved and sanctified. Baptized in Jesus' name and filled the Holy Ghost. I've got to shake it off and make the devil take it back. I can't afford to get mad. I can't afford to quit the church. I can't afford to withdraw from the PLW and take my mama's home and play by myself. I've got to show the world I'm bigger than that. I'm more than that. I love God more than that. I'm committed.
minute greater than that. My God is more to me than all of that. And because of Jesus, I've got to shake it off. I've got to shake it off and make the devil take it back. Can I get a witness tonight? Can I get a witness? Come on, overseer. Sometimes we are lowered down. Just hang in there. Lower down. How much do you weigh? Uh, about 180 pounds. You can be exact. Yeah, 180 pounds. <laughs> he weighs 180 pounds plus. You're carrying trouble. Nobody sees the trouble we carry. Everywhere, trouble. 180 pounds trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble. But I challenge you, turn around and tell that devil, this is the last night. I'm carrying you on my back. I will shake it off tonight and make the devil take it back. I came to get shaken. Shake it off and make the devil take it back. I know we're not supposed to preach sermonettes, but as long as the net is in the sermon, they'll catch the fish. Praise the Lord. That's what we're trying to do tonight is sufficient. Try to catch some folks just overloaded, overtaxed, frustrated. Disappointed, upset. And I tell you, they everywhere sinks. That's right. But I want to tell you, this man from Alabama is not in that number. I don't have a blood pressure issue. I'm not upset. I'm not nervous. I'm enjoying Jesus. And I talk to the devil. I tell the devil, devil, you didn't give me this joy. Hallelujah. And devil. You sure can't take it away. God gave me the Holy Ghost. Got baptized in Jesus' name in 1955. And ever since that wonderful day, my soul has been satisfied. And even to this night, I shake it off in the name of Jesus and make the devil take it back. Hallelujah.